Now in this next part, what we've got to do is find the acceleration A. We've got our two equations of motion that we got from the first part of the question and we can solve these simultaneously then to find the acceleration A. So like all simultaneous equations I would number them. So I'm going to number them 1 and 2. And the best way that we can solve this in my opinion is to just simply add the two equations because we've got a t here and a minus t and by adding t minus t that's going to go to zero. So what I'm going to say then is we're going to add 1 and 2. So 1 plus 2 gives, what does it give us? Okay. Well as I say t and minus t cancel out so we've just got the 2g added to the minus 3g sine 30 so let's just write that down 2g minus the 3g sine 30 degrees and that's going to equal 3a plus 2a, in other words 5a. And if you work this out on your calculator, take g as 9.8, the acceleration due to gravity, just work this side out and you should find you get 4.9. 4.9 then equals 5a. Divide both sides by 5 and you end up with a equaling exactly 0.98. Don't forget the units, it will be meters per second per second. So there's our acceleration.